the monsters. We're the monsters. We went to sleep many years ago, and we woke up with a brand new show. We're the monsters. We're the monsters. Oh yeah! where she's going. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! I know you're awake. You always have trouble sleeping during a full moon. <laughs> Make it fast, Herman. I'm reading Stephen King and it's just getting gory. With any luck, I'll have nightmares. <laughs> Lily just left again. If I was married to you, I'd have left years ago. Grandpa, I think she might be seeing someone else. Seeing someone? Lily, don't be an idiot. She probably just stepped out for a bite. <laughs> for the third time in one week? Why not? When I was her age, I went out every night. No, no, this is different. Lily's not that kind of a woman. At night, she likes to rest in peace. <laughs> Herman, when she gets back, sit down, talk to her. If there's one thing you and Lily know, it's how to communicate. No, I have a better idea. What? I'll sit down and talk to her. If it's one thing Lily and I know, it's how to communicate. <laughs> Good thinking. Ah, it's 3 a.m. Do you know where your wife is? <laughs> Mr. Maurice? Hey, 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 I'm designing here. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think the shoulders should be padded, the bodice line defined, and the hem should be at least three inches shorter. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Lily Munster. I'm applying for the fashion designer job. I have had the last two weeks to sneak out to work on these designs. Excuse me. And I... Excuse me. This, uh, this... Is this an original, this? Uh, oh, this? Oh, <laughs> oh, this is something I just threw together centuries ago. Don't be so modest. This is better than my whole line of see-through clothes. I never saw those. Nobody did. <laughs> Do me a favor. Will you model this for me? Oh, well, um, the sleeves are uh, black widow webbing. The cape is 100% um, coffin lining. And the necklace has a genuine eye of bat. Eye of bat. Very punk. <laughs> Tell me, uh, how long have you been designing? Oh, since I was a child. I started designing shrouds for mad scientists. <laughs> and then I worked as a furrier. Minx? No, werewolves. <laughs> Werewolf. <laughs> I gotta tell you something, kid. You slay me. That's the nicest thing I've heard all week. What's this? Well, that's your basic hound's tooth coat. Come here. You know something? I really like your approach. And I think with my experience and your weirdness, we can go right to the top. Now, two weeks from now, I'm going to have the biggest fashion show that I ever had. And I could use your designs. But I need them pronto. I'm talking about working long hours. I'm talking about working right through the dead of night. The dead of night? Oh, that sounds perfect. <laughs> what about your family? Oh, they don't even know I wanted this job. Oh, dear. I hope when my husband hears about this, he won't fall to pieces. Even though that's the way he came originally. <laughs> you know something? You keep me smiling like this, you can keep this job forever. Oh, I haven't been this happy since I was crowned Miss Transylvania. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! 
Omaha, come out of there. I need to talk to you. Now. All right, Herman, what's so important? You're acting like it's a matter of death and destruction. I should be so lucky. I finally figured out why Lily's seeing another man. It's because I'm losing my natural good looks. Nonsense. You're a classic. They don't build men like you anymore. That's what you think. I'm getting flabby around the stitches and my neck bolts are starting to rust. Herman, you're gorgeous. Isn't Herman gorgeous, Stanley? Go ask a rat. Herman, Grandpa, could you come up here for a moment, please? I have an important announcement to make. My marriage is over. This is it. The axe. <laughs> Herman, you dummy, get up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, what I'm about to say may come as a surprise, but as a woman of the 80s, I feel it's time for me to be more independent. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Oh, I wanted it to be a surprise that I had a job. What did I tell you, Grandpa? She got a job. A job? Congratulations, Aunt Lily. Thank you. I'm going to be a fashion designer for Maurice Designs. I knocked him dead at the interview. That's my mom. Herman thought you had the good sense to fall in love with someone else. <laughs> Me fall in love with someone other than my little Hermie? Oh. oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who's going to take care of the house? Who's going to cook for us? Feed the reptiles? <laughs> oh, no. And now, Herman, perhaps you and I could share the household responsibilities. But, Lily, we already share. You cook the food, I eat it. You make the bed, I sleep in it. You wash the clothes, I wear them. Sounds like sharing to me. Uncle Hermit, you're still living in the dark ages. Oh, the good old days. But what about my work at the funeral parlor? Herman, you always said you prefer working the graveyard shift. But Lily, Lily, if we do that, the neighbors will think we're odd. Herman. Please, try to understand. This is very important to me. You mean, you want me to iron the armor, roast the buzzard, and drive the hearse for the carpool? Oh! Outrageous! You'll be Mr. Mom, Pop! Oh! Oh! Pancakes, Eddie, you're gonna love them. Well, what do you think? Mmm, great. <laughs> wow, you must be starving. Here, have another one. Gee, thanks, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Herman strikes again. I think I'll grab a bite elsewhere. Okay, be that way. But Lily loves my cooking. I made her favorite sandwich, peanut butter and jellyfish.
find someone else to share your life with. I would never love anyone but you, Calvin. It's been my life, my love, ever since that day on the heath. <coughs> oh, no. Doctor, he's sinking. Try to see that little Morty. Little Morty. Oh, Calvin! <laughs> Hi, Bob! Hi, Eddie. How was your day? Ah, uh, good and bad. What was good? Today at school we had an earthquake drill. That sounds like fun. What was bad? No earthquake. <laughs> well, see you. I'm gonna go dissect something. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You get to have all the fun. Never threw me my slippers and paper. <laughs> Lily, this has got to stop. This is the third time this week you've been late. Herman, you must realize the fashion show demands most of my time. You could have phoned. I'm sorry. I dusted the entire house. I'm sorry. You didn't even notice. I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? You could start by saying I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should also say thank you. For being a wonderful husband. And housewife. And housewife. Besides all this, I've missed you terribly the past couple of weeks. Oh, Herman, I've missed you too. I promise I'll spend more time at home. Hello. Maurice, Pews, I'll be right there. Uh, Herman, uh, we'll have to talk about my spending more time at home when I can spend more time at home. Pews! <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Lily, darling, have we reached a puce truce? Well, I've just added some more blood. Red. <laughs> what do you think? What do I think? What do I think? I think we're going to revolutionize the fashion industry. I can see it now. Lily Munster Fashions. Presented by Mr. Maurice. <laughs> Listen, why don't you just straighten up around here and I'm gonna go out and do some mingling. Oh, good, you're here. Let me show you your ensembles. White mink, right? No, imitation possum. <laughs> oh, but just as good as if I'd skinned them myself. Well, this must be silk. Better. Dyed bat wing. Very rare, I might add. Well, well, what do you call this material? Feels like nylon, only a little sticky. Black widow's web. I find it clings to your figure much better than these synthetics. Not this figure, honey. Now we'll find out why it's so important for Lily to be here instead of home, defrosting the attic. Oh, Herman, Grandpa, oh, I'm so pleased you're here. The plague couldn't have kept us away. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> oh, I want you to meet my models. Uh, ladies. <gasps> Good afternoon, ladies. Wait, wait, wait. See, Herman, you still know how to make a woman scream. Gone. What am I going to do? This is the most important day of my life. Where on earth am I going to find two models? <laughs> 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 
This is the last straw. I'm not going on. I feel silly, Lily. Herman, you cannot back out now. This is my big moment. There's an audience in there waiting to see my fashions. I haven't felt this ridiculous since I accidentally bit a mannequin in Macy's window. I can't believe the two of you won't help me. Herman Munster, who was there for you when the funeral parlor fired you for taking your work home? You were. And Grandpa, who was there for you when the blood bank found out that you had embezzled their liquid assets? You were. Right. I have always been there for the two of you. And all I'm asking is that you be there for me. Lily, when I came over here today, I didn't realize how important this was to you. But now I do, and we'll do it. Oh. Only... Only what? Let's do it quick. My pantyhose is starting to ride up. <laughs> These the models? Uh, well, now, if you let me explain. Great idea. Ugly models. <laughs> Showtime, ladies. Now, which one of you broads is first? She, she is. is. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Lily Look. First, a Transylvanian original. Uh, this daring design features a simple chiffon dress with a black widow Web cape. Rain or shine, it's guaranteed to knock them dead. Let's see you top that one, hot lips. And now, say hello to Hermione. <laughs> Hermione is dressed in an outfit. Guaranteed to create a stir. <laughs> what do you think, Eddie? I'm gonna have problems at the father-son picnic. <laughs> a bold statement of love. This blood-red evening gown will draw attention at even the most discriminating parties. Shake it, baby, shake it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, 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 the material comes from the, from the finest bat-wing American caves have to offer. A uh, bleached possum. Uh, look! <laughs> Lily, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, Mr. Morris, if you'll let me explain. You don't have to explain. Your ideas are brilliant. Even a big green lady going through the wall. That was no lady, that was my husband. Who cares? We'll get somebody else. We're gonna take the show on the road. We are gonna to go to the fashion capital of the world. Warsaw? Paris. We're gonna spend months in Paris, creating. Well, that sounds great. Sounds tempting. Lily, I'm sorry. Oh, Herman. Uh don't you apologize. You were there for me. I say Colonel Mustard did it in the billiard room with the chainsaw. <laughs> Oh, Herman, good, we're ravenous. Ah, not me! <laughs> Who ate this first? <laughs> Lily! We've been home for over an hour. What took you so long? I had to clear out my desk. I quit my job. But you loved your job, Aunt Lily. I don't understand. Well, work is important, Marilyn, but the family is just as important. I think I'm needed here. We're proud of you, Mom. I love you, Lilikins. Oh, and I love you too, Hermie Pooh. 